name's Lee Mather and I'm the game director on Codemasters F1 2019. Uh, I'm here at E3 this year and I've just had the opportunity to try out the new Next Level race, Racing Traction Motion Platform. Uh, for a consumer level motion platform it's absolutely outstanding. Uh, I've used many motion platforms in the past, a lot of them have been actuator models that roll and rock and roll from side to side. Uh, but to finally have one that also has a sled as part of that as well actually brings a whole different dimension to the way it feels. Uh, I've been lucky in the past to actually drive many real simulators at, at teams and at, at different race organisations uh, and it's certainly bringing that sort of level of immersion, that level of motion platform availability to, to the mainstream uh, and something that people can actually experience in their own homes. Hey, my name is Sean Cole. I run a show on YouTube called The Sim Hit, completely dedicated to sim racing. So here we are at E3, which is a gaming show, and every year I come here hoping to find the hidden gems of sim racing. This year I was able, and last year as well, I was able to run into the guys at Next Level Racing. And this year was really special because they had a whole lineup of new products that caught me off guard. I wasn't even expecting them. And I've been watching the evolution of Next Level Racing over the last decade and seen them come from a place where they really had an entry point into the market and a really strong entry point, but they're still a new company. And what I've watched over the last decade is an evolution. I've seen them upgrade their components. I've seen them upgrade their, their quality, their construction, the parts, the paint, the finish, the things that make a rig so important to me. And this last year has blown my mind because when most sim rig companies have looked to the stars and once they get a foothold it's about bigger and better and more expensive products and i've seen that from next level next level racing with their traction loss addition to the motion sim which is spectacular and on that super high end but this year what was so special to me is that they were really looking out for the new guy in sim racing the people just getting a foothold into the market and coming out with a line of affordable products whether you're talking about a wheel stand which is like the obvious first choice stepping up from a game controller to a wheel, or whether you're talking about like portable rigs that would be affordable and collapsible, something you could put in your closet if you didn't have the space or the room. And the best thing about it is even though the lower price point, they've maintained that new level of next level construction and quality. And so when they were even at a lower price point, you didn't look at it and see, oh, it's obviously the lower price. It's like, hey, this is a nice looking rig. Oh, and it turns out that it's totally affordable. And yet they didn't only focus that direction. You still had the addition of the, the motion chair. You still have the addition of the traction loss and just that next level from next level. And it's, it's just been a pleasure to watch these guys what they do, and then on top of it for me, to come to E3 and have them be one of the mainstays of the sim racing community here at E3, where we need this great representation, because here we are at the greatest gaming show on earth, and sim racing is like 1% of the market. So I wanna thank Next Level just for keeping it going, being part of our big cause of sim racing, and on top of that, just having great products and a great group of guys, but hanging out with the guys, talking about all their products, talking about sim racing, getting in to drive the equipment. It's just been an incredible trip here at E3.